Hi, in this video I'm going to explain how to apply the map function to lists. Uh, basically the map function is a utility that will let us uh, apply a certain operation over the elements of a list um, and put them in a new uh, object without having to do a loop for ourselves. Uh, although at the beginning this may seem unnecessary for people who are used to loop through lists, you'll see that this leads to uh, much more compact code um, that will allow you to do code much faster um, and uh, easier to understand uh, for people who also know about uh, the mapping function. Uh, one thing, although we can use um, uh, regular functions, one thing that will be very useful for us is the concept of lambda functions that I've been covering in a previous video because the way we specify the operation to apply to each um, element of our list is by specifying a, a mapping func function. Uh, since we want to do this uh, the more compactly possible, um, using a lambda to, to declare a function uh, in, a, in a line locally is much more uh, um, efficient than having to define a custom function that will only be used, for example, for the map function. But enough with the talk, we will go now to trying uh, to use these, uh, these map functions. Well, we'll start by declaring a list. So my list equals to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, I've already done a video about this, about handling lists, so I'll leave it in the description. So, I'm printing my list just to confirm. And we have a nice list of um, five uh, integers. Well, if we, if we want to apply an operation to this list, let's say increment each um, value of the list, the easiest way we'll do, uh, would be basically looping through the list. But that's not what we are going to do today. So we are going to use the map function. So we will store the result in a variable and as you will see the map function is as easy as this. So the first argument will be the mapping function. Let's assume that we want to increment each value of the, the, the list. So we declare a lambda. Uh, remember the syntax. We first put the keyword lambda. Then we put the arguments. Let me say x. And this x will be each element of the list uh, each time the function is applied. So think as the function will be individually applied to each element of the list. Then we separate by uh, columns and we say that our expression will be x plus 1. Okay, the first argument is our lambda as we stated and now we'll pass the list, my list. So we end up getting a, an object. Just to show you that the object will not be um, a list but other type of object, I will print the type of this mapped object. And as you can see this is a map, it's another type of object, I uh, will not cover it in detail here, but what we want basically is to get the, the final list and we can easily convert this map object to a list using the, the list function. So we can do this final list equals to list the map. Now we will print the final list. Final list. So here we go, we have our list uh, with every number incremented. Just to show you a little bit how this would be achieved by doing the um, by doing the loop, uh, we'll grab our initial list first. Let me declare it again, just for the sake of uh, of getting everything as we started. So my list. And then we'll declare a list called final list, which will be an empty one. Okay. And um, now we'll declare our lambda. My lambda, lambda equals to, not that we can put a lambda in a, in a variable so we can use it later. So we use the lambda keyword x, x plus 1. Okay, we have our lambda start. And now, and as you'll see, this is much more verbose and error prone. We could, for example, iterate the list with a for in loop. So for elements in my list on. Okay, now what we'll do would be um, final list dot add. I think it's add or append. 
Oh, sorry, it's a pin if I'm not mistaken. Oh, the pins. Okay, my lambda. Lambda the elements. Okay. So, uh, what we did was individually applying the lambda function to, to each element of the initial list and append it to the final list. Now, if we print final list, we end up with the same result. And as you can see, uh, it yields the same result. Uh, but the, the, the syntax is much more verbose. We can, can commit some mistake like uh, um, missing an element or not passing the correct values to the lambda. Um, and we are uh, seeing a simple use case, but um, I think that uh, the map function is definitely a tool that you should know about, about when working with both Python and MicroPython. So, uh, hope you have enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.